Today we have the poem The Taxi by Amy Lowell. The word taxi does not come anywhere in the poem except in the title. And we would wonder what is something as prosaic as a commonplace word like cab or taxi doing in this poem. Let's examine. When I go away from you, the world beats dead like a slackened drum. So here the poet starts by saying that as I am going away from you, she says that she is going away from a friend or lover. And as the distance between them increase, the world suddenly appears to be beating dead. It is like a drum that is slackened. The word slackened is to slowly lose the rhythm and become slower. The beats of the drum become slower and slower. And when you take it in the sense of uh, other than the metaphor, we know that suddenly life becomes meaningless to the poet. The world around her becomes dead. She was very lively. She was so alive to the world around her. And now slowly it's becoming dead to her. It is becoming voiceless. I call out for you against the jutted stars and shout into the ridges of the wind. Streets coming fast, one after the other. So now we see the image, the very word taxi in the beginning gives us the image of a lady who is in a cab and she is traveling. It does not seem to be important where she is traveling, to what destination or from where she is traveling. But it is very important that she is traveling away from somebody and the longing for that person, that love of her life, that person is very important. That longing is the most focused feature of the poem. And here Amy Lowell was a very famous imagist poet. She draws on sharp images of nature to show the pain of her passion. When she says the jutted stars, the ja stars seem to be jutting out. They are protruding from the sky, staring out of the sky. And against those elements of the nature, as the taxi passes by, the person in the taxi can see the night, the dark night. And all the, all the things that are happening in that evening, there are other cabs in front of her, there are people passing by on the sides of the street, all the regular pictures that you would see on a road as you are traveling in a cab. And she says that her voice is not heard. She is calling out to her lover to whom she misses already. And I and shout into the ridges of the wind. Again, the words like jutted ridges give out the image of sharpness so you can see that that pang of passion it is so strong it is almost like a wound it's something very sharp inside the poet's heart and the ridges of the wind the that very the ridge of a mountain that is a cliff that point of sharpness and here in the wind too the point where the wind is you know pushing away a torrent of rain or a cyclone that is the ridge that sharpest edge streets coming fast one after the other wedge you away from me the passion continues and it becomes more powerful as the poet says the streets are coming fast towards me instead of saying that the cab is moving further she feels that she is standstill and the streets are moving one after the other. They are wedging you away from me. This taxi now becomes very symbolic. The taxi becomes that very thing that is taking her away from her love. And the lamps of the city prick my eyes so that I can no longer see your face. So why are the lamps pricking her eyes? Here we can think of an image where the poet, the lady in the car, her eyes are filled with tears. She is trying to control her tears. And so 
what what happens is that the light of the lamps are causing her eyes to blur she cannot see the image of the lover now we can also say that psychologically the image in the mind of that beloved is getting blurred because it is too hurtful to think you know we see here a lady who says no i do not want to say goodbye i do not want to leave this embrace this love and why should i leave you to wound myself upon the sharp edges of the night the poem concludes by the question from the author why should i leave you why should i leave you to expose myself to wound myself on the sharp edges of this lonely night so to be away from the lover is to have pain and suffering so some of the features of the poem include imagism next is symbolism the taxi stands as the symbol of taking the person away from the beloved then the poem is abstract it is an abstract poem definitely because it's taking the abstract image of a taxi on a street and you see the cars behind and in front all of it is keeping the woman stand still she is rooted to a spot in her life and even psychologically we can say that she is unable to move forward she feels the streets are passing her now amy lowell was born in a very rich family she belonged to the she, uh, imagist poets she lived in the 19th century and her brothers and her father and all the men in her family were accomplished scholars because she was a woman she was denied the right to go to a college but she made up for it by reading with such a passion and collecting evidently collecting such a lot of books it was known that she had the greatest library the collection of books she here the lines why should i leave you to wound myself upon the edges of the night these two lines are very important if you look at it why if the poet is so reluctant to leave this lover why is she leaving why is she going out into the night and why wounding herself so she could very well opt to stay back and what does this tell us or make us think about the poem could it be that this love is a forbidden love it is a love frowned upon by society and that is why the poet is scared to stay back that night if we examine amy lowell's life she has written a great many poems more than 640 poems have been written by her and all these poems were dedicated to one woman who later in the end of their lives the last 12 years of their life they lived together in what was known as a boston marriage a marriage which was not sanctioned in front of society but where two very well educated intellectual women chose to stay together as companions and in in the in front of the world we can see that amy lowell was a very collected calm new england spinster who always wore a severe expression and was pursuing only her studies but at the same time her poetry and her works show that she was a very passionate lover she was a passionate woman who dedicated all her poems to this partner now such a love was not sanctioned by society during that period later on during the 20th century we can see the gender studies and love for the same sex has all gotten into a different uh, scenario but during her life it was her riches that kept her away and people called her an eccentric she was known to be continuously smoking cigars quite often in the severe mane of a man and she was called masculine 
and from childhood was made fun of for being more of a tomboy most of her poems are imagist they are written in free verse she herself named it the unrhymed cadence it is a pouring forth of passions all her all her poetry was dedicated to ada russell her partner for the last 12 years of her life and later on her estate her works were all uh, after her death passed on to this partner ada destroyed the letters between these ladies because again it was not a sanctioned love it was a forbidden love in those time in her poem the lady amy level says to a lady she is dedicating it and saying that th this is an older woman to whom she is talking and she says that the world may see you as just a gentle old person but i see blended in you all the wiseness of age and beauty and like a newly minted coin my youth myself i throw before you in the dust and may my sparkle delight you so it is the most elegantly written poetry which from a woman to another thank you the taxi by amy lovell when i go away from you the world beats dead like a slackened drum I call out for you against the jutted stars and shout into the ridges of the wind streets coming fast one after the other wedge you away from me and the lamps of the city prick my eyes so that I can no longer see your face why should I leave you to wound myself upon the sharp edges of the night